Hello and welcome back to Hugo House. And so today we'll be taking a look at this remote cottage with views of the Dolomite Mountains. This special tiny cabin building is located almost 5,000 feet above sea level and hidden in the middle of a beautiful nature reserve in the mountainous Dolomites UNESCO World Heritage Site. The location sits in Italy's northernmost province, which is less than five miles away from over a dozen downhill ski runs at Kronplatz. Whatever the season, you will find stunning views all around that is breathtaking. This tiny cabin building is beautifully crafted inside and out and serves as a guest cabin studio to its larger cabin building found on the property. The tiny cabin design was created by EM2 Architecton and they have incorporated several contemporary minimalist design ideas that would work in any location. The most notable visual element in this tiny cabin building is the uniform use of larch for the inside, outside, and the built-in furniture. Larch is a lovely wood with a monochrome effect that is far from boring and makes the tiny cabin building look uncluttered and spacious. The cabin building siding swings open to reveal a glass wall which offers stunning views of the jagged mountains, sweeping plains, and tall pines that extend into the distance. There's also an interesting division of the window styles, with the common area having several huge floor-to-ceiling windows that give a panoramic view of the Dolomite Mountains, while the other windows in the kitchen, bathroom, and upstairs bedrooms are narrow horizontal slits that give a bit more coziness and privacy to the tiny home. The tiny cabin design has door-sized shutters that cover the larger windows to help increase security when the cabin building is empty. The cabin building also has a space-saving feature, with the two bedrooms being divided by closets rather than walls, whose closet doors open outward to leave enough space for the beds. The beds also have built-in storage space underneath for efficient use of space. If you think that small house living might just be for you, You'll want to be sure and do your homework first. There are many reasons that people choose small house designs from full-time small house living, backyard offices, artist studios, and more. It's always a good idea to talk to people who have lived in small house design, or if possible, stay in a tiny house building yourself. Although small house living has loads of benefits and sounds like a breeze, it might not be as easy as you first consider. The best way to make your tiny house dream come true is to first ask yourself a few questions. To be sure, small house living has a lot of pros to it, becoming more spatially responsible, lessening your impact in the environment, and not to mention living more affordable. But before you take the plunge and sell all your possessions with the intention of downsizing to tiny house design, you'll need a good old-fashioned reality check. Ask yourself whether you are physically, mentally, and emotionally equipped for living in a small space for a prolonged period. And that's our video for today. And if you like it, please do consider dropping a like. It really helps this channel to grow. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. We're going to be featuring new homes every single day from log homes to tiny homes to vacation homes and other inspiring home ideas. I hope you have a great day and we will see you in the next video.